hello scorpios welcome back to the channel it's the scene tarot and today we're going to do your love reading between you and your person to see what's going on here all right scorpios if you are new here remember to like the video if it resonates with you by liking the video here on youtube youtube sees that it resonates push the videos forward into a bigger audience so the video can grow so the channel can grow also guys if it doesn't resonate i will have a link in the description bar it will be your playlist all right scorpios all right, guys, remember to go over to my Instagram, my Instagram page, okay? Follow your girl there and support her. We're going to be doing free readings there only on my Instagram when we do hit 5K followers. So I appreciate all your love and support in everything that I do. You guys are amazing. All right, Scorpios, let's see what's going on with you and your person. And Merry Christmas, you guys. Merry Christmas. It's Christmas Day. Very cold here in Atlanta, by the way. So <laughs> I'm watching the wind blow so hard through my window right now. It's just so windy outside. It's gloomy. I hope wherever you are, it's a better situation than what I'm facing right now. You guys probably have snow outside, right? <laughs> we don't have any snow, but it is windy. It looks like it's going to rain um, later, though. All right, let's see what's your first card here. Scorpios, please. All right, so we have the not, I'm sorry, the eight of swords, the strength card, and we also have the five of pentacles. So I feel like there's a situation that happened in this relationship where you felt stuck in. I feel like it's more about this person not telling you the truth, Scorpio, and you were dependent on this person, trying to trust this person, and this person ended up betraying you. Now that you know about this, I feel like you're trying to find your way out of this relationship, but you just don't have the clarity or the facts um, to actually walk away from this person. There is someone coming through here. I feel like it's your person because they put you through this Eight of Swords, all right? There could be someone that they're dealing with as well with this Eight of Swords because for some of you, I truly believe if this person just was honest with you, you could have worked this out. But now this person is gathering up their energy and their confidence to come towards you because for some of you, this person might have cheated on you and left you for someone else, left you with a lot of responsibilities. For some of you, this person might have even kicked you out of the house because for me, the five of pentacles indicates that you guys lived together before or are trying to plant a future together. And for some reason, this person decided to say, hey, um, you know, I'm with someone else. You need to leave. They probably change your locks on you, made you feel like you wasn't important um, for them. Now, this person doesn't have to leave you for someone else or kicked you out, but this is what I'm feeling here since it's a general reading. So take it as it resonates, you guys. I just feel like, you know, you were shut out of this person's heart. And this is what this represents for me. Like closed off from this person. Like this person was being very cold to you. Like this person didn't appreciate you. They like didn't want to tell you the facts of what was truly going on. And you feel like, okay, well, you're treating me this way. So this definitely means that you don't want to be with me. Then you want to be with this person. Like you feel like this person chose someone, um, chose someone else then chose you, okay? Then we have the five of pen the five of wands, excuse me. We have the four of swords in reverse here. And we also have the ten of cups, right? So I definitely feel like you guys had arguments, you were fighting. Um, you know, this relationship just had too many baggage to the point that you had to walk away from this person. And also I'm coming back to the five of pentacles where I feel like this person had other people involved here in this situation. When I told you that for some of you, this person could have left you for someone else. Well, the five of uh, wands is in reverse, which tells me that a lot of people were involved in this situation. A lot of people that you were actually arguing with. Some of you were actually physically fighting these people. And you um, felt like, you know what, this was something that you're not going to win because this person didn't have your back, okay? They made you feel like you weren't someone that they wanted to be with. So what happened? You walked away from the situation. You needed clarity. You needed to recharge. I feel like this person gave you anxiety in the um, four of swords here in reverse, and you needed to take some time for yourself. Now, I feel like for most of you have done the work, taking time for yourself, and um, you have moved on from this person and moved on from the situation. Maybe not from the person, but I just feel like, eh, like you guys 
are willing to talk about this now. Before, you couldn't talk about this or you couldn't see yourself in a room with this person. And I also feel like it's going to be a conversation about this Ten of Cups here. Okay, um, what are we going to do? Do you still want this? Do I still want this situation? Do you want to, you know, tie up this Ten of Cups, which I don't see you guys doing? I see that it's still open. So what it's telling me here is that you guys still feel something for each other, all right? Now, it's your past situation that's coming back. Um, this person is definitely thinking about the good times that you guys had. You are morally thinking about moving on. So, you know, you, of course, both of you have two different energies here. You know, your past person wants to, you know, restart this love life um, or where they left you. I'm just going to say that, um, standing and made, you know, betrayed you, made you feel like you weren't the one for them, but it's surprising to you now that this person is coming back to you. Um, I feel like you're very disappointed in a three of pentacles on the back of the deck, um, that this person did this to you. I don't feel like you hate them. I just feel like you're very disappointed because for anything, I feel like for most of you, this was your best friend. This was someone that you wanted to really spend a life with. Um, and Scorpios, we can we we tend to turn our lovers and our best friends. Honestly, we do that um, because we don't uh, we're not fond of friends, you know. So whoever we're with and spend a lot of time with, that's our best friend. And most of the time, if you're in a relationship, that considered to be your lover. Um, so you're kind of devastated that this person know you so well and then do this to you, you know, but I feel like this person wants a second chance with you, but you're going to give this person a hard time doing so. I do see that Scorpio. All right. Um, remember you guys, I mean, don't fight, don't fight fire with fire. You know, sometimes you have to just let go and forgive and let the energies and the angels flow within you and do you know, and, and you get the benefits of all of that, you know, the glory. So if you fight fire with fire, it's just that you're just going to have a lot of karmic energy coming towards you, both of you, honestly. But, you know, we have the king of wands here where I feel like your person is so willing to make this work and they're going, they're like mature, like this mature energy. But the funny thing is they're so mature but they're not really telling you what they truly want, right? So they're keeping their feelings from you, but they're going to be there for you um, by trying to get to know you again and seeing what you want and letting you know that they want the same thing, but they're not going to offer you this long and stable relationship. They're keeping that hidden for some reason, and I feel like it's a part of um, them hurting you and betraying you. We have the moon here. Yeah, the mistake that they have made juggling two things. Your reading is just so straightforward, honestly, you know, and this person unbalanced, like they didn't bring any balance towards you. And this is how they see you, the queen of pentacles, you know, they want to invest in this, you know, but there's something holding this person back from investment, you know, I feel like it's a lot of things to do with communication and being on the same page with this person. And this is why they're, um, this is the things that they want to do. They want to be with you. They want to commit to you. But again, there's a, a blockage of communication, understanding each other, and just talking to each other. In a, any relationship, really, communication is the key here, Scorpio. So if you don't have communication, you have nothing, honestly. And this is what this relationship needs because clearly there is some kind of a situation that went on with you and this person. Um, but at the same time, this person wants to come back to you, want a second chance with you. All right. But they're keeping their emotion bottled up because of a lot of th stuff that they have brought into your life in the past, which is the mistake in the moon. I feel like for some of you, this person could have slept with someone that you knew. Um, you know, um, I feel like there could be other people that might be involved in the situation in the moon, someone that you talk to all the time and you're devastated with this. So this could be family members. This could be your best friend. Just have to be very careful what you tell people about your relationships um, moving forward and your person, especially when it continues contains, contains, and I have my hands like this about your sex life. Okay. Because I do see that your person was juggling two things here, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with something. Okay. And they weren't making a decision fast enough for you and they didn't give you the balance that you deserve. So please clarify this two of pentacles, please. Why is this two of pentacles here? Two of pentacles. Yeah, look at that. 
a third party. So this person wants to be successful with you. The eight of pentacles is right behind the deck right here. So this person is trying to figure out a new form of way to get towards you, Scorpio, to make this relationship work. But the reason why this two of pentacles was here, I already knew it was a third party by the five of pentacles. But you know, we have the broken heart here. We also have the four of cups here. This person wants to just start over. Okay, but you are over it. This is what it's saying here. You are over this cycle. This person needs to get it together. All right, this heartbreak here. I feel like this heartbreak here is something that you're so you're over. All right, you're moving on with your life, but this person did contain this and put this in your path. All right, and it's a lot to do with this situation with this person, you and this person fighting um, a lot with this five of wands here all right this person is coming off very manipulative when they don't get their way with you and this is an other issue here all right a other issue this person comes off to be childish and it's about a legacy that they want to build with you you know this legacy here that you're they feel like you're thrown away <coughs> thrown away yeah so is someone that you this person cheated on you with the three of uh cups here all right in reverse so is your neighbor your cousin that you don't really talk to somebody that you don't talk to but you know of this person is a player they're coming off as a player but yet the queen of cups is here they love you they want to be with you stick to their stomach that they can't have you they want another chance with you all right they want to move forward with you but you are single all right but they are too and the single life is not going very well for them okay and look at that they, wow we have the nine of the nine of um cups in reverse wish fulfillment they're getting ready to lose you if they have to you're they're very incomplete very childish shelf selfish when they lose you it's going to be a lot of communication on this so get ready you guys because this person um, is going to let you know how they feel when they are not with you, when you are moving on with your life. They're going to be very manipulative, very childish, very um, selfish um, character. And it's all about this Ten of um, Pentacles, all about it. This is the main problem. They want to be with you. They want that life with you. They want the children. They want the house. They want, you know, a husband and wife um, relationship or wife and husband, whoever this is. They're watching you all the time, thinking about you, want to be with you again and again. Only you. Only you. But when it's time to apologize, they don't come through. All it takes is a, a really sincere apology from this person, from the heart, but they don't tend to do that but Scorpio this is what I see for you I hope it resonates all right if it does you know what to do here like the video give this video a big uh, thumbs up on the channel I know this little uh, reading is a little bit different in a different area so um, if it doesn't resonate you guys I'll have the link in the below section of this video also go over to my Instagram follow me there follow your girl support your girl on the Inst Instagram journey that I'm about to take I love you guys and I will see you guys in your next one bye guys